Now we're going to create a pyramid object using the model in place. Let's go to new default metric. Okay. Here we go to model component, model in place. Select a generic model. Let's say the generic model is there. Let's create some reference. Okay. Here, so the dimension is a different one, so the dimension and that's it. Now, let's add the overall dimension from here. 18,000 so here it's this and change this to 18,000 so that it will be square box now we can create the shape and let's sketch the hat using here select here and here Okay. Now we we'll need to select profile, edit profile, and go to the west elevation. Here we're going to place the ship. Let's put it a line. Let's put it as high as we can. Let's do a So now let's go to 3D here you can see that it's created the 3D object with finish model. Here we can go to massing and size, then we can apply some type of materials. Let's say we are going to apply some curtain wall. Let's select this. Select this and select the four sides. Then let's create system. Here you have the glass, but let's edit the system of curtain. Mode. Let's select the curtain panel. It's already set to not, so let's set it at least. Click apply and then click OK. Let's create another glazing panel. Let's go to the curtain panel select it to solid or now let's go to the families and let's create the curtain panel the system panel is empty and then the is duplicate so this is a scholar and set, select this here we're going to change the material to glass and glass material but we're going to set the color to a different color let's say this one is clear a blue green and let's have the same color as this let's set graphics it's using this so let's set it first click okay here we're going to go back to the curtain panel and select it and set the glazing to glass or color. Click apply, click OK. Then when we set this uh, graphics to shaded, it will have the appearance of the materials that we have selected. Here we can also go to realistic and see how it looks like. It's in a lighter color, uh, but we have created a solid. Here, if you want to place some curtain wall, also we can do that. Let's go to massive curtain floor system, select it, and it will apply itself. You can see it's already created. So, all the faces can be provided with different types of 
material. Here we can also edit the system. Let's take out the grids. Line. Grid lines. Okay. So now it's one whole glass. We're looking at one glass here. Material here, which is transparent. That's why you can see from here. So we, we can also change the color if you want. Let's go back to this color. Let's change the material to a different color. Let's say golden something. You can only select it on the graphics so let's go to the graphics okay when you select the shaded or consistent color it will be in a more lighter or here let's go again back to the color let's change again the glass to a more Let's change the color to custom color. Uh, let's select it, same as what we have selected here. Let's take the golden one. Okay, click apply, click OK, apply, and then click. Now, when you set the graphics display to the system color or realistic, it will have that golden or yellow color which we have change the parameters and setting in this curtain system so that is how to create a pyramid object with materials on the faces of the object here we can also apply the same thing later